Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and and also, <laughs> once again, um, I'm playing me some noise. Uh, I just, this came up in my YouTube recommendations, I just thought it was kind of funny, uh, blue noise plus air conditioner, and um, anybody who's ever, anybody who's ever checked out my streams, especially when, uh, especially during like hot, during the hot summer months, um, you'll often hear my air conditioner going in the background. So I thought this was kind of funny. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny to play in the background. So. Yep. Playing some more noise. So like I said, those that have checked out, checked out my streams, it's going to be an all too familiar sound for y'all. But anyway, um, like I like I did like I've been doing for the past few days or I should say like I've been doing since yesterday um, just fired up some Capcom fighting collection um, but this time around um, I this one here definitely didn't go so good um, I was uh, I did my I did my weekly workout um, just mostly uh, work uh, working out my my chest and my inner thigh Two, uh, two muscle groups that I don't really use at work. So I just started working on them and then I'm uh, um, I, oh, and my, and my neck as well. Well, apparently I, I did something, I, either some, some, uh, some exercise that I did or maybe I did something wrong at work that I haven't completely recovered from, but, uh, I fucked up my upper back on what I think it was uh, my neck exercise. It, it kind of hard, kind of hard to explain, but uh, I might have uh, I might have said this before, but it's it's an exercise that kind of it uh, works on the back of your neck and from yeah from the back of your neck down to like the middle of your back. Um, you you just you hang your head down, you know, to where your you know to where your chin's. Where your chin's in your chest, and then you just take your um, you grab your um, you clasp your hands together, and you just kind of you hang your arms over the back of your head, and you just kind of press down, press down kind of gently, just you know, so there's some resistance there. Well, I started on that, and maybe about a second later, ah, it is like the whole my whole um, upper back muscle just started hurting. Yeah, I came up on that immediately, so. Oh, screw that up, but I had the I had the big pain in my uh, upper back right between my shoulder blades So I had that at the start of the stream. I took some ibuprofen didn't work surprise surprise um, But yeah, so it I just, I had that going all throughout the session and then not to mention um, Twitch still hasn't had their all uh, they haven't give Capcom fighting collection their own category like their own quote unquote room so I had to go to the retro channel which uh, apparently nobody over there gives a shit about fighting games cause I think um I think there was me and I think one other person that was also streaming the same game but none of us had anybody like no it was basically it was pretty much a ghost town freaking desert um I think there was a. Uh, I think there was one other person in that channel. In that in that retro channel that had. I think he was streaming, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Um, he was he was actually pretty popular, but then again, he's also streaming streaming uh, you know, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I mean, pretty popular fighting game. It's sees fairly heavy use in tournaments and stuff. So. Plus, I'm guessing he was probably already an established streamer. So, but I mean, he he was like the the lone exception. So yeah, it was pretty much dead as a doornail. I wish they'd uh, wish Twitch would like set up a category for CFC. So, and then then there oh, you know, and then there is a fact that um, like none of my regulars showed up. So. I think all the fans of pinball don't don't care much for fighting games. At least that's what I'm guessing. So after 
after about an hour and a half in, I, I pretty much just threw in the towel and just said, fuck it, called it off. So, otherwise, it was pretty much a day like yesterday. Um, mostly lazy, just sitting around watching shit. Um, in fact, I had just, before making this cast, I had just gotten up from my second nap. So, and then, um, I played a, I played a little bit of Gems of War. But like usual, I only play it for about 15 or so minutes and then call it good. Um, and then something else too, this is very debatable, but I just want to put this out there. Um, DNF Duel, I think it drops in a couple days. So I'm considering playing it, but right now I'm leaning towards no. I mean, one, I had just gotten Capcom Fighting Collection just a couple days ago. I didn't even, you know, I would only begun to play it. So, and then DNF Duel, it costs like 50 bucks. And on top of that, um, looking at the spec requirements, my computer could probably run it, <clears throat> but uh, it probably wouldn't be able to stream it. Hold on, I gotta take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. Ah, <sighs> uh, but you know, and I know you can um. Uh, I know with Steam, you could, uh, if you played, uh, if you played, if you play any game, I think it's for, like, less than two hours, I want to say, you can turn it back in for a full refund, but, uh, I'm always very skittish on that, because, um, DNF Duel costs 50 bucks, um, and I, with that kind of money, I, I, if, uh, if I spend that kind of money and try to get a refund, and if for whatever reason it gets refused, I'm basically going to have to eat it. So I'd have to eat DNF Duel. So considering I'm working part-time, um, my lifestyle financially is not sustainable, I couldn't afford the loss. So, But like I said, um, I might have a sudden change of heart. You never know. But like I said, I'm just, I just want to... I just want to get it out there. So. Then, um, I did try playing some pinball. Uh, a little bit of FX3, a little bit of arcade, but just like most fighting games, if I'm not streaming it, it just isn't, just doesn't feel right. And, um, as far as streaming goes, I don't have much of a window to work with. The only time I can really do it is, like, in the afternoon, like, 2.30 p.m., uh, U.S. Central Time. It's pretty much my own window. But when you start beyond 5 p.m., um, fewer and fewer people are going to be on watching streamers. So that's one of the reasons why around 5 p.m. is my cutoff. Because, again, as uh, as it gets later and later in the evening, fewer and fewer, fewer, and fewer people show up. But in, in case I didn't say earlier at the start of the cast, otherwise the uh, the rest of my time was just well, it was pretty much another lazy day. I don't. I mean, they might uh these lazy days might seem like I am, like they're enjoyable. With me, they aren't. Um, to me, they're unproductive. It, weird as it might sound, I only have, or I quote unquote only have four days off so it just I got it I gotta do something and uh it's not like um it doesn't feel like I'm working part-time I mean I mean I'm only working three days a week but they're also 10 hour shifts I'm only working 30 hours a week that's only uh 10 hours less than 40 so so like I said the day so, the day, having these days off, you know, being able to do, hang on, let me try to phrase this properly. Being productive on my nights off are pretty important to me. 
you, but I, I, you know, but um, on Saturday, like yesterday, it's kind of understandable. You know, I'll take the end of the work week. I've been busting my ass. I've been busting my ass the past three days, so pretty exhausting. So having Saturday being my lazy day is kind of understandable. You know, try to catch up on sleep and all that, but not on a Sunday. So yeah, like I like I said, um, today I've already had. I had just taken my second nap. Something which I, I, again, I only want to do on a Saturday, not on a Sunday. So. But uh, I guess uh, something else I forgot to mention too. Um, will I be going back to pinball? In all likelihood, yes. Um, as far as when, I don't know. But like I, like I said, I've, I've been wanting to um, like I said in the, on yesterday's, yesterday's cast videos, and I actually did make a separate video for Capcom Fighting Collection, one of the biggest reasons I got this is because of uh, Super Puzzle Fighter. It's a game that I haven't played since the 90s. So I had a fair amount of catching up to do on that alone. Of course, at, I, at this conjecture, I, I should probably also mention what all I did during the stream. Um, I did my usual... Just Super Puzzle Fighter, um, Vampire Savior, played those. Um, I also played a little bit of uh, Cyberbots, but I wasn't wasn't really into it much. It seemed like an okay game, but not not enough for me to play consistently. Um, no, I think that's it. I think it was just um, mainly those two games, Super Puzzle Fighter and Vampire Savior. I played up, uh, and then a little bit of Cyberbots, but I, oh, Gem Fighter, that was it. Um, Gem Fighter is a more a more kiddie version uh, of uh, Street Fighter. It's the game that would come out either just before or just after Super Puzzle Fighter came out. So I played it for a little bit. Seemed all right, but not something I'd want to play consistently. That's that on that. And then, um, one other thing I did, um, I've yet to really get started on this, but, uh, I, I just found out, uh, sometime this evening, uh, sometime earlier that CEO Fighting Game Championships has, uh, has been already running for the past two or three days. I wish I'd have known that at the, at the start of this so I could actually, uh, you know, started watching when it first came out, but um, mainly because uh, one game that uh, one game that I really wanted to check out was um, uh, you know, Def Jam Fight for New York. It was one of uh, it was one of very one of uh, maybe three games during the two thousands. One of one of uh, three fighting games that I played during that time. I played no other game. It was just Def Jam. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, and then the one they made before it. Not Cataclysm. Deception. Yeah, that one. Yeah, those two. Yeah, those are the, uh, that and Def Jam are the only three fighting games I played during the 2000s. So, uh, but like I said, when I was, um, putting this cast together, I found out that a Def, Def Jam Fight for New York was one of the games that was in CEO. I wish they had some video footage of it. I couldn't find any. All they had was like from last year in 2019, and that was it. Oh, and uh, let me uh, let me rewind back a little bit. Um, I also played a fair amount of Idol Champions: The Forgotten Realms. It's a it's a Dungeons and Dragons based idol game. Um, I played actually played it a fair amount. I just um, I learned of uh, there's some uh, new areas to explore. Um, I found a. I found, found a new way of uh, discovering new characters and stuff. I also, uh, I just, uh, I found some uh, ways you can upgrade the, the equipment on your characters and stuff like that. So, just started playing around with that. Um, just did a, a few new quests and that kind of stuff. So, basically just played it for a while. Or longer than I normally do. So, but okay, now, <laughs> alright. Now I can go ahead and uh, fast forward, fast forward back to CEO. Um, 
But yeah, um, and um, I just, I recorded a whole, or, I just uh, grabbed a whole bunch of CEO videos. Um, just, um, got them on my watch later playlist, so I'll probably be watching those later on. Um, I did try watching, uh, the Guilty Gear Strive part of the tournament on Twitch. But, with the exception of maybe the very last battle, or the last match between, uh, Hotashi, I think that's his name, and Rizzo, um, the other one, with the exception of that one, I couldn't really watch the rest of them, because, fucking ads, it's just, you can't get, can't get rid of them, and, um, I have, a it's called Alternate Twitch Player, but, uh, even then, having it, or using it, wasn't helping, it, it didn't, it didn't work for, uh, all the ads, or all the footage, so, spotty at best on that. But, um, something else I was wanting to say, I forgot. But, yeah, I mean, you know, it just kind of, kind of ticked, kind of ticked me off, though, too. I mean, I've, even when I, even when streaming myself, I've had uh, people come on my stream, damn Twitch ads, which, there's nothing I can do about it, so, you know, don't, you know, don't hate me. I mean, if I had, you know, if I had my way, I mean, I wouldn't have any ads on, on there at all. I mean, you know, hang on, okay, that was the you know, bathroom toilet. Just, anyway, you know, but again, if, if I had, you know, if I had my way, I wouldn't be having ads on my video at all. Even if, uh, I'd, I'd at least want to be, I'd, I'd at least want to be an affiliate, so I can upload, uh, so I can upload videos to Twitch. I'd still want that, but aside from that, he, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll stay, I'll stay at the bottom. If it means, um, if it keeps ads from being run on my streams, yeah, I'll stay at the bottom. You know, and I'd, and there's, um, and it's also one of the reasons why I don't really check out other streams. It's just because you got to deal with the damn ads they present. Um, but it's kind of forgivable if it's uh, if it's on Twitch, because again, they the Twitch content creators. There's nothing they can really do about it. Um. Twitch decides where, where and when the ads go. Um, I guess my beef on it would probably be on YouTube. They, I mean, as far as like the, the kind of like the 15 slash 30 second unskippable ads, um, content creators, they can't really do anything about that. But, uh, my, um, my thing that really pisses me off on that too is, and I, uh, and I actually have, uh, I actually have, I don't think I've actually unsubbed to um, to these channels, but I no longer watch them. Um, I turn them off my uh, YouTube recommendations, but uh, and uh, I have complained about this before in other casts. So, for so for some of y'all, yeah, you, I'm gonna be repeating myself here. But if you're gonna if you're gonna run ads on your video, if you're able to control it, either do them at the very beginning. On the very end of the video, don't just plunk them down right smack in the middle, you know, while your content is running. I mean, that pisses me off to no end right there. To me, that's very disrespectful. You know, it just it it kills the immersion. But um, I actually there was a uh, one channel I can think of right now, uh, Moldy Bagel. He does uh, Dragon Ball Fighters content. Just awesome, awesome stuff he puts out. But ain't watching him anymore. Uh, he's got this habit of doing that. He'll put, I think, he's done Raid Shadow Legends, which is already, uh, huge turn off with me. And then, um, VPN Express, I think it is. But he'll, he'll put the, he'll put these sponsor plugs right smack in the middle of a video. Like, he won't put them at the beginning or at the end or anything like that. You know, it, but yeah, that, to me, that's a huge no-no cardinal sin. So, again, I mean, I get it. You know, you know, you gotta have sponsors in your videos to help pay your bills and all that. But if you're gonna do it, 
be you know, don't be a dick about it. You know, beginning or end, not in the middle. Uh, in fact, there is um another one I can think of, Jim Cornette. He had his um, he's got his own podcast. Um, in fact, he's probably even more insidious about it. He just he'll uh, he'll plug a sponsor, but he tries to do it as like kind of a kind of part of a conversation. Just, you know, a natural part of the conversation. Um, Fighting Game Podcast, uh, Triple KO. They do the same shit, too. Uh, they did a did it on one video with uh, Manscaped. It just, um... I don't, but to be, to be fair with them, they did it, like, towards the start of the, at the start of the video. It's just, again, they try to, they try to plug their sponsor as though it was, like, part of a conversation, like, part of a normal conversation. Like, yeah, they talk about Manscaped all the time, just totally casually and all, you know, no, no. So, you know, but again, Triple KO, I don't really care to watch the podcast anymore. Or or what I do now, I'll check their description, and if they say, get 50% off Manscaped products by using this promotion code, or something like that, if I see that in the description, eh, I'm moving along, click. So... So yeah, like like I said, it just I mean Twitch does it, but again the due to the due to the way they do it, like if there's like a it's not preset, for lack of a better word. They're just they're just suddenly magically instantly inserted right in the in the middle of a in the middle of a stream. So like I said, even the even the streamers themselves they can't do anything about it. But YouTube or I should, I should say, to a lesser extent, YouTube, um, when they're uh, when they're being uh, inserted, but uh, I think the way YouTube works is they're um, they're pre they're preset. You know, the 15 slash 30 second um, unskippable ad, like right at the beginning, and like I said, it's all it's all preset. So, and plus on top of that, you can also you can also get YouTube Premium. I think it's like a I want to say 10, 15 bucks a month, and uh, all of your videos are ad-free. So it's so the so my real, again my real grudge is with the um is when the uh, the content creators they try to do their they try to do their sponsor plugs like right in the middle of their video. So no, uh -oh. looks like I got a flickering pixel. That was something else too. I forgot to mention that as well. Um, during my uh, during my stream, um, I was getting flickering problems. So this time around, it was actually two little pixels on my lower right corner of the screen, as well as the whole screen flickering off and on as well. So, uh, far that being said, yeah, any viewers that came on my stream probably didn't miss didn't miss much. I'm gonna take another drink. So, but yeah, um, I've actually, I've actually removed, uh, various content creators from my, uh, YouTube recommendations because, because of the shit they're pulling. So. But otherwise, um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so... So yeah, that's the it's it it's it and that's that. So uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning or not tomorrow tomorrow I mean so. But until then, thanks again for coming by and see you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>